Hello, YouTube. Good evening. Shabbat Shalom. It's Friday evening, June 6th, 2008. Um, I wanted to just give a brief update on my project. Uh, as some of you are aware, if you've watched my previous two videos, Ron Paul at the Crossroads and Ron Paul at the Crossroads Part 2, I have uh, told YouTube community that I'm planning to um, basically stand in front of the Republican National Convention Center in St. Paul in September and uh, preach to the delegates that stream into the convention center, trying to convince them one last time to abstain from the first round of voting so that it would be possible for the convention to become a brokered convention in which Ron Paul can then be nominated and hopefully can gain enough delegates through a second or even a third round of voting, even as Abraham Lincoln uh, won the nomination in 1860. Abraham Lincoln, of course, went into the Republican National Convention with basically no delegates, much like Ron Paul, and um, Seward was the uh, front runner in 1860, and Seward was unable to garner enough delegates in the first round to win the nomination, so in the second round, Abraham Lincoln uh, actually won some delegates over, um, not quite enough to win, but Seward still didn't win enough. And then in the third round, enough delegates actually voted for Lincoln that it allowed him to become the nominee. So he literally walked out of the Republican National Convention as the Republican nominee, even though when he walked into the nomination into the convention, he had no delegates. So we're hoping to accomplish a similar, uh, similar type of thing with Ron Paul. We're hoping that history will repeat. And uh, I'm wanting to play my little role by trying to convince as many delegates as possible as they stream into the convention center to abstain in their first round of voting so that we can open up the possibility of Ron Paul being nominated. I wanted to read just a little letter I got. I'm not going to reveal her name because I didn't ask her if I could and I don't want to uh, <clears throat> break her anonymous anonymity if she doesn't wish it to be broken. But I wanted to read this um, email from a woman who... Um, has agreed to send money to me. She's already agreed to send $500 to help me to travel to uh, St. Paul in the fall. And um, and I'll just read this to you. It's, it's very encouraging. She says, Hi, Daniel. Um, I am interested in helping you. July 1st, I will send you a check per the address you gave in your first email for $500. If it turns out that you need more, i.e. others do not come through for you, I will respond in full. I would encourage you to dress professionally and to have your speeches prepared and rehearsed well. This is our last chance to make this happen, and everything we do has to be done to the absolute best of our abilities. Most importantly, this is the paragraph I really want to highlight because i just very encouraged by reading this. Anyway, she says, <clears throat> most importantly, we need to keep our hearts, minds, and eyes focused on the prize, Ron Paul winning the Republican nomination, and then on to win the presidency, not on the draconian circumstances surrounding this election, the lies, and the lack of media coverage. God is with us, and Ron Paul will be president regardless of how the circumstances make it look now. Ron Paul will win the nomination and will win the presidency. We just need to stay the course. Thank you for your desire and efforts to make him our president. All the best. Well, I don't know about you, but that letter, um, she sent that to me a few days ago on June 4th. Um, <laughs> that letter was just very encouraging. You know, I, I hope that more Ron Paul supporters um, could have the type of attitude that this, that, that this lady has, because that's the type of attitude we need to succeed. And that's certainly the type of attitude that I want to have <clears throat> as I'm preparing to raise money to go to St. Paul in the first week of September to try to, to try to convince as many delegates as possible to turn this into a broker convention. Um, so anyway, I, I just was very encouraged by that, and I wanted to share that letter with you all on this rainy Oregonian Friday night. Um, and the other thing I just wanted to share is, you know, here we are, we're on the cusp of, of a new season. Summer is about to begin although it doesn't really feel like summer here in Oregon. The high was only 59 degrees and it was raining all day. It's kind of cold here, even for Oregon standards. But um, but we are on the cusp of summer. It's only a couple weeks away now. 
And, you know, I just really, personally in my life, we <clears throat> just moved to a new office. It's up much closer to where I live. And um, it's really just kind of boosted all of our spirits and um, made us feel a lot happier. And the office is much nicer than from where we were. Uh, it's very state of the art. And so it's just made us all feel much more, um, much more happy and, and much more energetic and, and just excited about going to work. And so as I thought about that transition and how, how much better things have gotten and just kind of starting a new chapter in my work um, and moving into a new office, I thought about how we're transitioning into a new season. And um, uh, we're transitioning into a new season and, um, you know, we're, we're basically entering the season in which Ron Paul will either be the nominee or he won't be. I mean, you know, September, the first week of September is still technically summer. Um, and, uh, anyway, um, this is it. We're coming into the summer season and this is the season, um, this is the season that, uh, you know, this is the season that uh, we're going to know. So I just think as we're entering into this new season that we need to really be excited. And this is the summer of 2008 in which hopefully we can change the course of this nation. I mean, if we can get Ron Paul the nomination, that would be really wonderful. So um, I just want to encourage everyone to uh, sort of treat the summer as like almost like the beginning of a new year. And it's a new season. And it's a season of excitement. It's the season that of where we're going to be going to the convention. Those of you who can make it, it's the season where we're going to be doing the July 12th March, for those of you who, who are going to participate in that. And I think it's going to be an exciting summer. So um, keep your eyes on the prize like this woman uh, encouraged me. And uh, let's uh, make sure that we make uh, Ron Paul our nominee this summer. All right. Thank you. Shabbat shalom.